Martini versus Reyna. He's gonna be rough. They're both gonna be rough. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did someone say Inkling? <laughs> Arkister, what could you tell me about the Inkling versus Luigi matchup? This matchup's annoying. That sounds about right. Yeah. So Can Luigi get out of up there up there? Yes. Cyclone uh, comes out fast enough that the invulnerability frames. Get away right from there. me. <laughs> Zoo makes it so the up throw up does not count. Raiden is aware of said option. I, I'm not going to say aware. <laughs> it's. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> he. Was, okay, I thought he didn't make it back. I'm going to say, I'm not going to say aware because I, I, if I'm Luigi, no matter who I'm playing against, I'm seeing what I can tornado out of. But yeah, that is unfortunate that he can't get out of it. So up throw up air, not going to be as confirmed. You know, it'll still be a good mix-up because you can read the... Uh, can you read the Cyclone and like, get away from it or is you just... Yeah, yeah, you can definitely still punish the Cyclone. You can up throw and just stand there and wait for him to mash down B. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I thought. And so far, even stocks. Raiden definitely at a much higher percent, but that oh, should be it. Oh, that should have been an up B out of shield, but instead Rain goes for the grab. That should have, yeah, definitely an up B, a smash attack, a lot of things. Yeah, up smash probably would have connected too. Uh, Inkling's roller is quite laggy, and the faster of the two options is to jump out of it, which is definitely punishable with an up smash out of shield from a lot of characters. Yeah. Oh, big charge. Oh, it's classic. Plumber yeah. up smash, spot dodge up smash. Gets him every time. It so, really does get him. Yeah, so Raiden going to take that first stock, 178. This definitely looked a lot better for Martini, but he just wasn't able to close out the uh, stock. And this is kind of the struggle you see with, like, Inkling. Even at top-level play, you can just see them uh, struggle so much to get these kills. That could be it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was such a good bomb by Dane Connect, and that's not as big of a push as I expected on that. I thought we were going to see some up-tilt shenanigans. He was facing the long way, though. Mm -hmm. Alright, down throw goes for the... There afterwards. Not sure quite how much uh, Raiden like knows Luigi about these. I feel like can down throw uh, jump punch at that percent against Inkling. That's what I thought too. I'm pretty sure he could. So Martini finally taking that stock. 62%, nothing to scoff at. Not many mistakes you can make on Luigi's shield before getting punished. But the nature of the game is Ooh. Inkling is a, very, is a decently safe character when you want him to be. Yeah, I don't like the use of down throw there. I Inkling has true combos out of up throw and untrue reads uh, down throw and against yeah, Luigi, like DIN, your right? true combos don't even work so yeah if they di in it you could get some nice stuff off a of down throw but oh high up b unfortunately raiden not realizing that he should uh shield that the landing hit of the up b i am ooh, poor di on this cyclone yeah i did not think that one was gonna kill so martini still down 38 percent raiden looking really good right now I feel like we haven't even seen anything like too crazy from Raiden now those extended like Luigi streams. He's kind of playing this one slowly, laying Martini mess up on him and then getting these like one or two hits off of a down throw every time. Ra yeah, Raiden's kind of just playing his own game and Martini isn't really Ooh. reacting to his game. Not getting oh. the dash forward. Ooh. We're missing pudding. Dang. Unfortunate. So, Martini's still struggling to get the stock. We could be sent, potentially be seeing a two-stock if Raiden plays his cards right. Yeah, I mean, Rain is at least at kill percent for Martini, but, you know, that's only if... Are we going to see at that time he gets the dash into the forward smash? Big charge on there. 70%. Inkling can make this up in an instant, but we haven't really seen Martini... I feel the, like we haven't seen Jab once. Oh, you're right, actually. I have like, not... That's definitely, if, if you're in this matchup, you're scared of Luigi sh uh, spot dodging your back air, your dash grab, just go for the jabs. It'll beat spot dodgers. It's also kind of Inkling's best damage tool. Definitely. Down tilt gets the roller. Oh, gets, gets the falling up air, but a little too late on the punish. Martini slowly bringing this back, but he just can't make many more mistakes. Back throw not going to kill yet. You can see Raiden go off stage. Nope, just put it out the plunger. Really good way to draw these edge guards. Is that going to be it? No. Oh, that was a scary air ah. on stage for Raiden. I am surprised or Martini's Martini alive. Rather. And the Cyclone just pulling him up. It does have a win box that pulls in, but the back air is going to be out the roller. We saw a lot of those high rollers on stage from Martini. Definitely got punished. Uh, Raiden was honestly playing that better than Martini was. He was getting a lot of these hits in, and he was punishing Martini on shield. Whereas conversely, Martini not getting a lot of the punishes from Luigi, and it wasn't really adapting to Raiden 
uh, throwing out a lot of these buttons. He wasn't reacting to the Cyclone. So I'd like to see maybe clean it up, because that definitely could have been a game he won. He was yeah. playing from, he was playing really well at the beginning. Raiden got ahead, but then Martini was still bringing it back. So I, I, I know he can do this. All right. I heard a lot more ticks than helmet inkling this time, so I'm curious. Play trucker hat? Oh, wait, it, it's, oh. My, it's my color. What do you call that color? I call that coffee shop inkling. Barista inkling, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's definitely hangs out in at Starbucks working on a screenplay inkling. Yeah. Goes to the up there, goes to the Nair, gonna get cycled out of it immediately. Town and City, I do like this pick, a lot of space for uh, both characters to kind of yeah. have their fun on. It's a, it's a pretty good stage for Inkling, I'll say. Um, I I feel like he at least showed he tried to adapt to the Cyclone out of the up throw, but you literally don't have a true combo against Luigi out up throw. You have to just up throw him and wait for the spot dodge, or for the Cyclone, because it will come. <laughs> All right, waiting for the dash attack. Really good whip punish facing. Coming in for Martini. All right, really interesting roller, even though we saw the... Oh, wait, is that... No, that's not going to be it. Oh, the forward air? I feel I like he expected Raiden to pop out of the, out of the berry a little bit earlier than he did. All right, the dash attack's kind of putting it work for Raiden right now. He just grabbed two times in one direction. <laughs> and then he short hop feared and grabbed the other way. All right, this battle for the first half <coughs> is, uh, what's going on? I honestly don't know. They're both kind of playing this one extremely slowly. Neither one wants to overcommit because they know the other one has great options to punish an overcommitment. Oh my god, gets a max range grab. Oh my god, I can't believe he landed him still. Goes for the forward throw, not gonna kill, but... Oh, that was a very interesting grenade, but forces the air dodge on stage. He is able to cover it with oh, the backer. Roll. Nice roll. Nice down smash from Martini. Great option to cover ledge. It covers so many options, actually. And an another roll coming in. Both players getting red. 0-0 zero, zero apiece, but now, here we go, Martini. There we go, yeah, now we're waiting, like is. you said. I, that's where we're like to see the rapid jab. Again, we're not seeing them from Martini. Gonna run off there. Are we gonna go for an edge guard or are we just stay on stage? Yeah, I think that's a smart choice. Just keep your stage composure. And the fact that Inkling's so good at ledge guarding anyways. I, I like the use of the down smash. Sometimes people, or sometimes that forces the tech. If it did, it would have been able to chase it. Oh, that's, oh, that's a, a scary here. dare. Honestly, in that situation, you run off, you up B a ledge with Inkling, you get the little splat. Yeah, I do like the, the up B as an edge guard, too. Uh, I like that Martinez taking his time. He doesn't want to overcommit to Raiden standing on these platforms. Knows they'll go away because of town and city, but also knows how much Raiden can get off a down throw on them. Oh, really interesting air dodge in. This time, Raiden actually punished him. Back hit a down smash. Again, this battle for the second stock even is getting really tough. Raiden is at 165, but both characters are at kill percent. Yeah, that dash tech not going to kill. But yeah, one off a great catch on the air dodge. Neutral air dodges, so you have the least amount of lag, but Martini was still there to cover it. And here we go. Yeah, that's the punish I want to see. Not the full punish we would want to see, but he still is. Yeah, you got him after you bury him. <laughs> he's still showing that he's adapting. Forward Big. smash out of shield, great punish. Knows that moves laggy. And the slap on he does still have a jump. Oh, that would have been a really good down smash. Is that going to be it? And a two stock coming in from Martini. Yeah, on that great adaptation game. from game one to game two. Yeah, you finally saw him. He's getting up thrown. All right, what are you going to do? I'm not going to just go for up air anymore. You show me that that's not going to work. Yeah. Honestly, he played game number two so much better than game number one. Mm -hmm. You know, after game number one, I was wa you're watching it, you're like, yeah, it's close, but I kind of see Raiden one running away with it. But after game two, honestly, Martini looked great. It's going to come down to Raiden's adaptation. Mm -hmm. Looks like game three is going to be going to PS2. You know, that is the stage that Raiden won on, so I can, I, uh, I agree with the pick. Are we back on Helmet Inkling? I don't know about that. I mean, he won on, on the other one. He lost with this color. Well, don't I, agree. I, I suppose he went back to it because we're going back to PS2. I, it's no, probably PS, a stage PS2, thing. the tech is to pick green Inkling. Oh, uh, yeah, Get you're right. Get the camouflage. 
Oh, oh and see, now Raiden. Yeah, Raiden is mixing it up. Like we were saying earlier, it's going to come up. The onus is on him to try and get that. And now he's gotten so much because he didn't get punished for going first ill by Cyclo. Yeah, hold up. PS2's kind of activating these Raiden combos. Yeah, he looks a lot more comfortable on this stage than PS or than Tao. That should be a punish. Yep, down smash. That's good. Paints him up a, a decent amount and uh, get some good damage in. Uh oh, is that going to be it? Oh. It is. I don't think the DI was the yeah, greatest. Yeah, DI got crossed up, I think. Jabbing him. Grab him. We're going to get a rapid jab, and that's going to be a punish, unfortunately. Still 50 for. Well, I blinked. Yeah. Good God. He got shield grabbed. All right, Raiden's actually coming alive. This PS2 pick is phenomenal. Yeah, definitely sh would have recommended banning this one against Raiden. Maybe, you know, there's worse stages for him, but Raiden just looks so good on PS2. Yeah, he does. He, he looks like he's woken up. That flash is going to catch him. You know, a little bit of sleep at the wheel. So I mean, it was kind of just autopilot from Raiden. He tried to land with the Nair, which traded. But, I mean, you don't want to be trained with strong hit down smash at that percent. Exactly. So, still 0%. What's going to happen here? Oh, yeah, get off oh. me. Here we go, jabs. Here we go, jabs. There we go. Now, is he going to be able to take advantage of this paint and get his damage in? Down throw. Not going to be true. I don't really know about that roller in, but I guess it got him stage control. Oh, yeah, another smash oh, attack here. He goes for the edge but he gets reversal. Great job, Goran Ledge. That's a roller right there, but no, he goes for a dash tag. Oh my god, that Cyclone Zoop just scooped him in. Raiden now looking like he's ready to take this one home. Martini on his last off. We're going to have to see him uh, put in the schmooze. It's that forward air. Right, get off me. Oh my god, Martini actually had the punish on the dash tag. This should be. Oh no, I'm, I've been oh. wrong. That was an up smash kill, but instead he goes for the forward smash. It's not going to kill all the way across Pokemon Sam 2. It's one of the widest stages in our list. Mm -hmm. Oh, good roller. Are we going to get the punish this time? Slapped. Only 36%. He, Martini did a really good job of not losing uh, a lot of percent during this uh, comeback. Already evening it up. Oh, and the forward smash, he keeps catching Raiden right with those. Yeah. Actually painting a Max Rage grab, ridiculous. We gotta love Tethers. Gets another roller, a uh, burial. You know what, I like the F-Smash, just get your damage in. No yeah. use for going, anything fan do going for anything fancy. I, I, I like that Martini started using the Splat Bomb as a ledge trapping tool. Make it so it at least forces a get-up option, you know what timing it's gonna have. Gets that Nair. I feel like that. I thought he was going to up B him. Yeah, I thought he was going to get definitely punched. Elegant would have elegant would have gone for near up B right there. Like, that's why I was scared of from Martini. Don't be annoyed. Oh. oh, that should be it. What? <laughs> 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 Jab.